Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Renita Young here to take you through this week's market action. So let's take a look at where our markets ended the holiday shortened week. They closed mostly lower with the tech heavy NASDAQ 100 down by the most 1.4% followed by the Dow, which was down roughly 1%. The S&P 500 closed down a half a percent on the week, but the small cap Russell 2000 was barely changed. Now taking a look at the leading and lagging sectors of the week, six of the 11 S&P 500 sectors ended higher this week, with energy rising 2% and real estate right behind. To the downside, tech fell almost 1.5%, with industrials down nearly 9 tenths of a percent. Looking at some stocks on the move for the week, Gap rallied this week on the back of stronger than expected earnings and raised guidance. The apparel retailer also pared down its inventory and said it expects meaningfully higher operating income growth into its fiscal year. Gap shares touched a new 52 week high and closed up 38% on the week. Dell, on the other hand, sold off after its earnings report, closing nearly 13% lower on the week. The company noted its strong demand for AI servers, but expects its margins to decline to roughly 150 basis points in fiscal 2025 due to inflationary input costs, the competitor environment, and a higher mix of AI-optimized servers. And lastly, one day after reaching a 52-week low, Caesars Entertainment had its best day in 18 months. That's after Bloomberg reported Carl Icahn has taken a large stake in the casino company. Right now, the size of that stake is unknown, with Icahn confirming he owns some stock, but saying he has no activism planned. Shares ended the week up nearly 6%. Let's look at what to watch for next week. PMI and ISM manufacturing will kick off the week. And then it's jobs, jobs, jobs leading up to May's jobs report on Friday. And then on the earnings front, they're starting to slow down a little bit, but we'll still see reports from CrowdStrike, Dollar Tree, and Lululemon. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Renita Young, and remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.